Now, if we were careful and we did everything right, it should, it should all line up here. So I'm gonna, this is the most important part. I'll tell you, the first rib nut that I put in on that other side, I, I knew the, sta the stainless has a tendency to gall, but I thought, oh, I'm just gonna run it in. I'm just kind of fitting up. I didn't tighten that thing, but hardly finger tight. And when I went to back it out, it had, it got stuck. I don't know if it got a chip or something in there. And I like to broke my Allen wrench trying to get that thing out. I thought for sure the rib nut was gonna spin. And I was, you know, my very first one, I was so aggravated. Now that's the reason why right there, see we have a little bit of play. Always don't give your work to too tight of tolerances on this type of stuff. That's why this is a 5 16th bolt. I drilled a 3 8 inch hole. It gives me an extra 16th of an inch, a little bit of wiggle room to play around with there. So here in the deep pillar, we have a little bit of an issue. And, and what happened was there was two layers of steel there. When I drilled through, there was one hanging over. It pushed the drill bit over to the right-hand side. So it's not a problem. This is gonna be just part of the, what you have to deal with. We'll take the die grinder and we'll just take a little bit out of there. It's gonna be covered with a, with a washer anyway because we'll be powder coating all this stuff. And we'll put a little stainless steel washer that's bigger than the cap head that will cover that. So it's not an issue. It's just things you're gonna run into. So I enlarged that hole just a little bit and it should just kind of oval it out a little bit. It should fit in here. Now the rail secured with the button heads, it won't move and we can do all our pilot holes for the rest of them. So I've got my layout done and we'll just go along and center punch all of our contact points. Got the holes all drilled. Now we can take this out and we'll drill the uh, on the body side, uh, the next size bigger. On the, the, everything should, because I had it secured like that, we know it didn't move around. It should, everything should uh, uh, line up better than we did on that last one. I, I think that's kind of a, an anomaly there. I think that paint funnel thing was more trouble than it was worth. I just shielded my hand here, it seems to. Get a nice little easy coating. These new rattle cans, man, they have really great uh, nozzles on them. I think we're ready. Primer's dry, holes deburred. We can go ahead and mount, get the rest of our rib nuts in. My idea was to get two on each, you know, four, I like the four points of connection across there about every uh, little over 12 inches or so. This one here was, uh, I could only get one. Um, so I'm okay with that. There's more than enough strength. It's very, actually, if you put two on each end and one in the middle, it'd probably be enough. When I was younger with my cars, I used to think that the factory stuff was boring and I had to be aftermarket everything. Not anymore. <laughs> I have been down that road before. What I know is that the stuff that the factory does is very well engineered. It has been tested in every possible environment and road condition all the generations of experience behind, you know, under their belts versus the uh, aftermarket stuff. You know, most of it, the coatings on it, you know, every, the qual everything about it is, you know, just never holds up. It always, you know, falls off or gets sun faded or it's just, it's just, there's exceptions of course to everything. But for the most part, I try to keep things, use as much factory stuff and techniques as I can. So I like it. I got to see these rivnets give me the fizz. These are excellent. What an excellent tool. You wouldn't know that this wasn't OEM. If that doesn't give you the warm and fuzzy, you just don't have any soul. Man, that is nice, isn't it? That is the way it should be done. Beautiful, I am a fan. All right, let's see if it bolts up. Of course it will. Weren't really any of you that had doubts, did you? Now, I'm just gonna use these to run them in. We're not, don't tighten them with the impact wrench. To always tighten the stuff by hand. But it does save time when you're putting in and taking out. Look at how perfectly everything lined up here with the rest of these rivnuts, nuts. And that's the reason why is because we bolted it into place uh, before we drilled our pilot holes. That's uh, 
that's really really critical it takes the guesswork out you could even uh, you could even take some self tapping screws you know where the holes were going to be some real small ones you know and hold it into place that way and probably drill everything at one time but there we have just no problem right the holes covered up very very clean the completed rails could not be happier very clean very tidy the button heads look nice if i didn't mention this will be powder coated when everything's said and done there'll be stainless washers on there and man that is going to be very nice that's going to be very very strong and clean it'll go on the outside of the upholstery actually so uh, this will be up against the wall and then uh, i'll put a uh, i've got a very interesting bearing kind of a bearing uh, idea uh, so that when the aluminum contacts the aluminum on the top frame uh, there won't be any movement or squeaking and I it may or may not work but I think it will but uh, I think that turned out great all right thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next part